What's up guys, Forrest Knight here and you're watching iDev Journey episode 18. And now as you can see from the title of this video, we have something to talk about. And that is death to 100 days of code challenge. Kinda. Alright, so <laughs> I'm not going to be doing the video anymore of 100 days of code challenge. You know how I said, I want to make a video every day, every other day, whatever it is. And I only went up to like five videos or something along the lines of there. I just hated the quality of it. I was recording at one or two in the morning. It was dark, poor lighting. I kind of had to whisper and I was just kind of like talking over it. And I can just do that with myself. I, some people watched it, maybe some people liked it, but I think it's better suited that anything that has to do with iOS development, I integrate into iDev Journey. So I'm gonna up, update you guys on what I do throughout the week on iDev Journey. And if I feel like there's a tutorial that's needed or I want to show you an app that I created instead of doing it on 100 days of code I'm going to do just like I did before and have it on iDev Journey so iDev Journey here to stay 100 days of code challenge videos gone forever <laughs> seriously gone forever now that we got that out of the way let's talk a bit about iOS development and where I'm at in the course and where I'm at in like my skills and my apps and whatnot so I've already gone through the weather app the rainy shiny cloudy app I didn't really like it, it wasn't that much fun, so I kind of sped through it a bit, didn't really change it. The first video of that uh, of that app, I think it was the first video, it was one of the first ones, it was a new guy that we had, and I didn't really like the way he presented it, because he should have cut down a 20 minute video into like a seven minute video. And when I mean cut, I don't mean retake, I mean literally, he would do something wrong way, and then undo everything, and then talk as if he never messed up. And that was left in the video. It should have been cut out. You know, I understand, yeah, we need to see the errors and whatnot, but that's not an error. That's just doing something wrong the whole entire time and then taking it all back and then trying to do it right this time. And he did that two, maybe three times. I don't remember at this point. But that was only with his first video, the second and third and fourth or however many else there were. Those were, those were fine. Those were a lot better than that first video. The first video was... Crap. So basically what I did was I made my own user interface. I kind of went to the end of the video and saw what, you know, his idea was. He had, you know, the graphics, whatever, and then like the table views and the cells down there. And I just made that on my own. I didn't follow along with him. I didn't do the same stack views as him. The point of this app was really just to do the API and work with APIs. And this one happened to be a weather API. And that, you know, I learned how to do that. Or at least I refreshed my mind on how to do that. So... Moving forward with that, I left that one in the dust, don't care to go back and visit that at all in iDev Journey or anything like that. Now I'm like finishing up the uh, Pokédex app, which is the next one in this like little section. And luckily with the Pokédex app, it was Johnny B instead of the other guy. Like I said, you know, not to rag on the other guy too hard. He seemed like a nice guy. His first video was crap. The next like two or three videos were well structured, at least compared to that first one. But I still like, uh, learning from Mark Price and Johnny B a whole lot better than that guy. It was just, it was just kind of difficult, you know. Now before I show you guys the Pokédex app, what I've done and what I have left to do, let me tell you right now that I'm going to skim through like the next two sections I think until I get to Introduction to Firebase, and then maybe skim through the section after that, and then hurry up and get to the build a social network app with Firebase. You know, I'm going to skim through things if I feel like I need to slow down and learn it a little bit more then I will if I feel like I've already learned it because some of it is uh, iOS 10 hot new features or object oriented programming. I feel like that's easy to skim through, especially since I already know quite a bit of it. I'm not trying to be like cocky or anything like that. It's just, I'm, I'm ready to get started on the social network app that I plan to build. And I don't want to rush, but I don't want to relearn things and be redundant in the learning process if I already kind of feel like I know it and I just need to refresh, you know? I don't need to go into detail if I just need a refresher. There's a big difference. So I'm going to try to get to the Firebase Social Network app as much as possible so I can build this, uh, the food one that I've told you about uh, alongside it. And I'm really excited with where this app is going and how we're structuring the company and everything like that. So let's go ahead and see what I've done and what I have left in the Pokedex app. Before we get into it, I'd like to reiterate that I'm not completely done with the Pokédex app, but I'll show you guys where I am right now. As you can see, we're loading all of these Pokémon. Uh, each cell is loaded through the information given in this CSV that we got off GitHub. As you can see, Bulbasaur, Ivasaur, Venusaur. And we created our own cell just to 
show what each one should look like, Bulbasaur, Ivasaur, Venusaur, you know. And then over here we have this other segue. Well, before we get to that, let me show you this, this button right here. So let me turn it off real quick. I'll turn off the volume and then you'll hear... I didn't mean to click on it just then, but <laughs> then you hear the music. So we integrated background music. You can turn on and off and we can also search. And with the search, so let me search War, War Turtle. See, if it has a W in the name, it'll show with the W, War Turtle. And then if I hit done, keyboard goes away and it you know, I'm basically done searching. Also, let me show you this. If I, so if I hit done, keyboard goes away. If I hit back all the way, keyboard goes away. But if I war turtle and I hit this, keyboard doesn't go away. And let me show you what I'm working with. So let's go down to the few controller. Where are we? So right here, this is when the done button is, is clicked. So when search bar, search button clicked, the keyboard goes away. That's what view and editing true. So I did the same exact thing with the search bar cancel button, but it's not working and I don't really understand why. I've tried a few different ways in here. I've also, I've like put this whole thing in here. So this, I repeated, I co copied and pasted this up into this function and it still didn't work. I don't know if it's just a simulator or what. Let me know if you know the answer to that. I'd really appreciate it. But let's get on with what else. You know, I have all of these. I'd like to point out, if you look on my GitHub, you'll notice a lot of these have comments. Some are very basic. So this sets number of items in the section, number of items in the section, so that's basic. But what I realize it helps me when I refer back to it, so not just trying to figure out what exactly it does, I can just look right here. This only loads the, the cells that are showing on the screen, so it doesn't load everything. You know, imagine if you had hundreds of thousands of information, you only want what's showing to load. So imagine if you were on Instagram, you know how you can scroll down your timeline basically forever? <laughs> you don't want all of that to load at once or else you won't really be able to use it. That's what this is for. And the comments just help me refer back and know exactly what they do. So let's come over to Pokemon Detail VC. This is basically attached, or not basically, it is attached to this. And what this is for, so I've showed you search, I've showed you this. Let me go ahead and get this keyboard out the way. Let me click on War Turtle. Boom, War Turtle. So that's what we're working with right now. We're just trying to test out this segue from view controller to view controller. Eventually what this will do, what this uh, view controller will do, is what we're doing next is, you know, we'll have like a picture of the Pokemon of a War Turtle. It'll say War Turtle, weight, height, or what, whatever other statistics we have on the War Turtle. It'll all show right in here. So that's basically us testing the segue. I should be done with this app by next week. I'll show you guys the updated, or you can just check it out on GitHub. It all depends on where I am in the course at that point. But I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And until next time, have a good one.